Hi guys, I had another question from someone that wanted to know why is having high blood sugars bad for us, okay? Uh, it's really two main reasons with a lot of secondary reasons too. Uh, one is that, and I'm gonna start with number two, microhemorrhaging of the vessels are basically tiny little leaks, okay? Like your, your blood vessels are leaking blood. So what's gonna happen is your body's gonna then try to patch it up with a type of protein called fibrogen. So you're gonna have high levels of fibrogen when your sugars are high, and that's what, what gives you sticky blood, okay? And from that, you get clots, clots in the arteries, which create a stroke, hardening of the arteries, high blood pressure because you lose the elasticity, and then loss of vision where you have the retina being destroyed. You also get cirrhosis of the liver. So we get microhemorrhage, then the fibrogen, and number three, you can get a fatty liver. So I had this guy come in one day, and I had him lay on the table, and I'm checking him, and he told me his hands and his legs just go completely dead. They're numb. He can't even feel them. And, but he's not really concerned about that because when he sits up and he can just kind of tap it and it comes back to life. So I says, what are you eating? Okay, so not only does he eat pancakes every morning, but he consumes an entire glass of syrup. Okay, he puts all the syrup on here, high fructose corn syrup. And that's just his breakfast. I don't even want to tell you what his lunch and dinner is. It's just pure sugar. And this guy was a pre-diabetic. And he wasn't even interested in changing his diet. He would kind of come in just for some relief with his back. About six months later, I go in my office, I open the door, and there he is with his sister, with these dark glasses on, with a little cane, completely blind, okay? Microhemorrhage, fibrogen, because he didn't take care of his high sugars. So here's a situation that can be totally avoided if he would have done something about it. Three things, get rid of the sugar, do intermittent fasting, and if you have any of these symptoms, start taking an enzyme called seropeptase at about 150,000 IUs. That will clean up some of the uh, scar tissue that's in the arteries. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.